Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today is the first day of 2020. So let's get a couple of things out of the way. First, I sound awful because I feel awful. I am still sick. <laughs> I can't take anything and so I just am miserable. <laughs> At least I have a little bit of a voice back. Um, I'm drinking my decaf Earl Grey tea because I'm on caffeine restriction. I can't take medicine because I'm pregnant. So the new year is not starting out amazingly, but that is okay. So I did want to go ahead and do my introduction though to 2020's year-long project pan. I had so much fun with last year's project that I decided I wanted to keep the same structure. So this is panning from A to Z and I thought I was cool and came up with a nice idea only to find out later that the fantastic ladies came up with this like a few years ago. <laughs> so it's not in collaboration with them but I can't actually take as much credit as I thought I could for it. <laughs> but I did it last year and I really enjoyed it and I made some really good progress and so I'm doing the same thing this year. So this is my basket of everything that I'm hoping to work my way through in some form or fashion in 2020. Now with that being said, I am trying really hard to set a little bit looser goals because I, as I said, I'm pregnant, so I don't know what life is gonna look like once the twins get here, what that's gonna mean for the makeup or any of the other things that are in my collection or in my projects. So I'm trying to be a little bit looser about them. So you'll see a lot of things in here and hopefully I can actually hit the goals that I set, but I'm gonna try really hard not to be so critical of myself. If you saw any of my updates last year, you know that I'm not good at not being critical of myself. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into everything that I'm hoping to pan in 2020 and what my goals there are. Um, as always, I do actually keep track of my progress on all of them. I did get weights starting at the beginning of the year this year, go me. And I will actually try very hard to keep up with them because 2019 went a little awry there towards the end or middle, I guess. Um, but this year I'm hoping to be on track. So let me grab this because I also, for some of the things that I'm measuring, I drew little diagrams. I don't know if that's gonna help or not, but you know, keeping it fresh, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and pause here, get everything set out so that you don't have to watch me just digging around in my basket. And when we come back, we'll introduce all of our products. All right, I have everything laid out and it should be a little bit easier, <laughs> a little bit easier to grab. So the first thing for the letter A, this is a foundation. This is my Aqua Petite Jelly by Halika Halika. This is um, a BB cream that I really do enjoy quite a bit. It has lighter coverage. It is light to buildable medium in my opinion. And I really, really do enjoy it quite a bit. So it is my hope that I can actually use the whole thing up. So I have marked it right here. It's kind of hard to tell because of the way that it sort of clings to the bottle. It's at different heights in different places. So I think that this is probably the closest to where it genuinely is, but that's my goal, to go ahead and use that bad boy all the way up. Um, as I said, I do keep tallies so that I can keep track of how many uses it took for me or how many times I used it throughout the month just to help keep myself on track. So I will be sharing those in my updates. For the letter B, let me get it the right direction. So this is my Fenty powder, the Pro Filter powder in the shade Butter. I stinking love this stuff. So it is currently right about there. I would say loose powders are kind of hard. They kind of settle a little bit funky, um, but I think it's about halfway, I would say. I, again, love this powder. It is my goal to use it all the way up. Um, 
I don't feel like that's going to be difficult, but at the same time, I go through powders very, very slowly because I only use a very little bit. I have dry skin. Now, during this pregnancy, it has moved a little bit more to the probably more normal side of things. So I do have a little bit more oil production. I'm not as dry. I don't think I would go all the way to say that I've become combo or oily by any means, but it is a little bit more normal. And so I am using a hair more than I normally would but honestly I go through it pretty slowly so I think it'll probably take me a good part of the year but I think I should be able to finish it up. For the letter C I've got some skincare in here. These are the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. I've had these forever forever and I remember I bought these a couple of years ago during the Sephora sale on the recommendation of Alana. Um, and she is so fun. I love watching her channel, but I, I almost never use them. And it's, again, it's because this is a higher end product. I want to use them, you know, to feel special. And that means that they've just been sitting around for a couple of years. So there are a total, I don't think it actually says on here, which is super weird. Oh, here we go. There are 30 pairs in here. I've used probably a handful. So it is my goal to use this all up by the end of the year. I'm not going to like start using them daily and just try to, you know, shove my way through them or anything. Um, I do want to kind of space it out a little bit. So I'm thinking as long as I use it or use them rather twice to three times a month, I think that'll get me through it by the end of the year without wasting it because I'm not someone who likes wasting things just so that I can say that I have an empty pan. And I'm not saying that other people do that by any means, but it is something that I am very conscious of. So that is the letter C. For the letter D, I have an eyeliner. So this is by um, Pixie. It is in the shade Deep Plum. It is just a dark purple eyeliner it is a little bit older in my collection I've had it I bought it last year in 2019 it's weird to say last year uh, I did buy it in 2019 and I do really really like it I only really use it in my waterline but I can tell that it is starting to get a little bit drier because it's starting to move in the pencil so it is like shrinking up on itself I guess is the best way to put it so I did mark it on my little sheet here so as I use it throughout the year, I will just sort of cross off until hopefully it's all done. Because again, that is going to be my goal here, is to use this bad boy up completely. For the letter E, I have a facial mist. This is by Olay. This is their ultimate hydration essence in the scent Energizing. So I love facial sprays, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel like they do a lot to prolong the wear of my makeup or anything like that, but because I use so many powder products, powder products are what I'm most comfortable with. It just helps to kind of meld everybody together and have everyone playing nicely. So this is basically almost full. I've used it a good amount, but not nearly enough. So this is where it's starting and it is my goal to use it up entirely. I feel like setting sprays are a little bit easier to do that with. So for the letter F, okay, so here's where I'm trying to be strategic in a way. Because I don't know what my makeup usage is gonna look like in the new year, or in the new year, um, <laughs> in the new life with, you know, three kids, <laughs> I tried to choose products that I could wear and get usage out of without necessarily having to put on a full face of makeup. So I do actually have a few cream products in this project, which for me is really intimidating because I'm not super comfortable with cream products. However, this guy here is one of my favorites in my collection. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in this shade Fire. This was part of the Kathleen Lights Zodiac collection. I already have some pan in there uh, because I've used it a ton and I really, really love it. So that is one of the reasons that I brought it in. Also, I can wear it without having to put on any other makeup. I can just put it on and have pretty glowy cheeks. That's what she looks like there. Obviously, I don't put it on quite that heavy because that, that'd be a little bit dark for my skin. But I would really like to use it up completely. 
it is a cream product so that means that it is prone to going bad faster than powder products do so i do want to make sure that i'm actually using it up and not just having it sit so that is that for the letter f for the letter g i have another ColourPop product this is an eyeliner in the shade get paid it is just kind of a metallic gold eyeliner again i really put it just in my waterline but look it's so pretty it is so so pretty so i would like to again use it all up it is retractable it is basically brand new like you can probably not on camera but from where i am i can still see the tip sticking out just slightly so this one is a bit of a bit of a loftier goal but i think i can hopefully hopefully do it and it goes with a lot of things so that is kind of why i chose those two eyeliners because I'm also going to be doing a pan those eyeshadows project again this year. I had so much fun with it last year, but I wanted to make sure that I was choosing products that could go with whatever I drew from that one. So I have something that is really kind of warm and light. And then I also have something that's a little bit deeper and darker. So that was kind of my thinking there for the letter H I have this guy right here. This is my Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. I struggle to use this. I had it in my bathroom for a very long time and I found that it wasn't quite heavy or nourishing enough to use at night. So it's just been sitting in a drawer. This is a really nice product, but I think it's more for me at least, more of a daytime type moisturizer, but she's pretty full. She's pretty full. I would like to use all of it up by the end of the year. Um, I think I can, however, I think it'll take me a while. I've been working on the moisturizer that I have up on my desk now for a good stretch of 2019. I've only got a handful of uses left in it and then I'll be able to take over with this, but it'll probably take me a while to, to get through that, but it is my goal to finish it off completely. For the letter I, I have kind of a, another cream product here. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Iced Mocha. So this is super old in my collection. I have no idea when I bought this. I don't even know if it's still made in this shade or not. It's just a bronzy, a bronzy sort of cream eyeshadow pencil. I'm not exactly sure what this falls under, but Again, I think it'll pair nicely with a lot of different kinds of things. So it is my <laughs> very ambitious goal to use this guy up completely as well. For the letter J, I have a lotion. This is Bath and Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom. Again, trying to choose products that I can commit to even in an uncertain future. Um, so this guy, I'd like to use it up entirely. I've had it for a couple of years and I want to get it used up and she is basically full. So I've marked it right there. Opaque packaging. Can't really see through it. I tried really hard to squish some of the air out before folding it over. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I have weights for everything. Go me. All right. So for the letter K, we have our very first lip product. I tried very hard to be smarter this year with the lip products not nearly as many but they are full sizes so this is by Lancome this is their Mademoiselle shine formula and it is in the shade kiss smile and shine so this is a very very sheer lip product so it's just this lovely little rosy sort of shade um it Again, it's very sheer. I don't wear lip products around the house. I am a cuddler and I love all over my kid. <laughs> and so I don't really like wearing a lot of lip products because then they'll transfer onto him and he doesn't want to have like lip marks all over him. I love all over my husband. He doesn't want lip marks all over him either. I love on my animals. I don't want their fur stuck in my lip products. So when I'm at home, I really only wear like lip balms. So this i feel a little bit more confident that i might might be able to get home use out of but i don't know so in the beginning remember when i was talking about looser goals 
these lip products especially are going to be looser goals. So it is not my intention to use this guy up entirely, especially based on my 2019 progress, which if you haven't seen my finale, I will go ahead and make sure to link it up in the cards. Am I on the right side? Don't remember. Um, so that you can see where I landed on that. But I had a lot, a lot, a lot of lip products in that project. And it didn't go so well. <laughs> But I'm hoping that maybe I can use, so right now this is where we're at, maybe a third I think is kind of my goal, but we're going to leave it very open-ended with this and some of the other things that I have in the project. But I'm going to start my goal at a third and then if I hit that, create a new goal from there. I hope that makes sense. Okay, for the letter L... I have another blush. <laughs> um, but I hope that I can actually make more progress on it this year than I did on my Tarte brush, blush last year. And again, if you've seen that finale, you know it was not for lack of effort. <laughs> but this is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I adore this shade. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it is pretty darn new, um, so it, it does have a good long way to go. Um, I'm going to say that I want my goal to be to hit pan. I don't know if you can see that there. It's just this really beautiful sort of peachy, very reflective sort of blush. And I really, really like it a lot. So again, hitting pan is my goal. Even that though might be a bit lofty because with big products, they're domed. I don't know if I showed you that very well. Um, the packaging is absolutely huge. So it's not flat, it's domed. So... Even that might be a little bit of a lofty goal, but we'll see how the year kind of shakes out. For the letter M, I have another lip product. I have a lip gloss. This is my Gloss Angeles lip gloss in the shade Michelada. I've raved about this in the past. It is a wonderful formula, a beautiful shade. Let's see if I can get a swatch here that you can see. It is... Just a very sheer sort of orangey shade with tons and tons and tons of beautiful glitter in it. So, I would like to use that guy up entirely. Again, this was the mark before I opened it and redistributed all of the product, but it is my goal to use it up entirely. Again, I'm hoping maybe I can get more use out of gloss at home than I do out of full-on lipstick, but we will see. We will see. So for the letter N, I have a primer. This is by my No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. It is very full. I actually have two of these. I got one in a BoxyCharm and this one I had actually purchased at the same time that I purchased that um, foundation actually. I think I, no, it was a different, it was the Touch and Soul foundation. I bought them as a set and that was year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. So I'd like to use that up entirely. I'm hoping that is something that I can do. For the letter O, I have another cream product. I know, who am I? So this is a deluxe sample size of the NARS. It's the multiple so you can use it for a bunch of different stuff, I guess. But it's in the shade Orgasm. I'm so annoyed with myself. This is brand new. I haven't used it at all. But again, it's a deluxe sample size. So there's not a whole bunch bunch. But then I dropped it right after I was trying to do my little outline and uh, smoshed it up a little bit. So again, this is one of those products that I'm hoping that even if I don't do a full face... I can still just add a little bit to my cheeks and get some usage out of it that way. It looks like that there. And maybe in the course of this project, start to feel a little bit more comfortable with using cream products because that is something that I have some in my collection, not always stuff that I have purchased. But up until recently, I did have BoxyCharm for a number of years. I had um, Play by Sephora. I had Ipsy. I had the Allure Beauty Box. I had all kinds of stuff. So I had things coming into my collection that I didn't necessarily pick out. But that doesn't mean that I want them to go to waste. Anyway, this is going to be a long and rambly video. I apologize in advance. 
So for the letter P, I have my MAC paint pot in Painterly. Now I did use this for a good part of last year. I don't have any pan in it yet, but in looking at it from this angle, I feel like I'm not too far off. You know how when you're looking through the glass, um, where it's thicker, it's more opaque, and where it's thinner, you can kind of see through it a little bit. I might actually be pretty close to hitting pan on that, which would be very exciting. I don't think I will actually be able to use this guy up completely in the year 2020, but I want to try. It's not my favorite eye base. I know a lot of people rave about it, and it's fine. It does a good job of um, kind of canceling out the, the look of the veins in my eyes and things like that. I am getting older. They are getting crepier. They are getting more veiny. Yay. Uh, but I don't find that it really helps my eyeshadow last longer. So it's not my favorite. I've got other eye bases that I do like more, but I did buy that one and I do want to get as much usage out of it as possible. And because it is a potted cream product, it's not going to last forever. So I need to make sure I'm getting my usage in now. Alrighty, so for the letter Q, I do have an eyeshadow. Q is a little hard. Um, and as we get further down in the alphabet, you'll see there are some letters that are just difficult. So I had a, f a handful of products that started with the letter Q. This seemed most attainable. Most of them were lip colors that were either huge or bold colored or both. <laughs> so I was like, mm, no, not going down that road again. So this is in the shade Queen Complex. This is by Sleek. It's just a single eyeshadow. Um, it looks green, but when you actually apply it, it's like, it's like a greeny gold, like an old gold. I really, really like the shade a lot. Um, I would like to hit pan in this guy before the end of the year. And I think that that's probably doable. I can't imagine that in the whole year of doing my doing a pan those eyeshadows project that I'm not going to roll anything that doesn't work with that right there. So I'm definitely I'm confident that I can hit pan in that shade there. It's really, really pretty. I like it a lot. For the letter R, I have one other eyeshadow. So this is by Hourglass. This is their scattered light um, glitter eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. I love this guy so, so much. It is absolutely beautiful. But as I have talked about in the past, this falls into one of those really high-end luxy sort of products that I save for special occasions that never come around. So it was not an inexpensive purchase and I want to get as much usage as I can out of it before it dries out. So that is what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning. Um, these both lend themselves very easily to a two shadow look, just an easy wash of color. This one especially, easy wash of color all over the lids, something in the crease, whether it be an eyeshadow or a bronzer, and you're good to go. So I would love to hit jar on it, but I'm nowhere near, I don't, I don't have a dip or anything in here. So that might be a little bit ambitious, but I would like to hit pan on this before the end of the year. Cause again, I don't want it to dry out and waste my money. Okay, so for the letter S, a necessity here that I'm still so bad at using consistently. This is my Bare Minerals Rescue, I'm sorry, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. This is an SPF, it is an SPF 30 and it's in the shade Soft Radiance. Why do I need to put something, an SPF in a project for me to use it? That's stupid. But I do, and I am, so I would like to use this guy up entirely. Right there is kind of where I'm assuming that it is. The packaging is very, very opaque. So that's where I could bend it over, but I did get a good amount of usage on it throughout the year, but it really fell off once I stopped going outside. <laughs> I mean, I go outside to go to work, but you know, once the summer months um, had come to a close and even, yeah, even a little bit before that once, cause I spent a couple of months where I was just not leaving the couch because of just first trimester grossness. Anyway, so my goal is to use that guy up entirely. For the letter T, I have another pricey product here. This is my Marc Jacobs. This is their Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. 
I love this guy. It's beautiful. It's humongous, so don't think I'm going to use it up entirely. Um, I would like to hit pan on it, though. It is beautiful. It is a really nice shade for me personally. It isn't too warm. It isn't too cool. It doesn't lean red or anything like that. So I'm hoping, again, to hit pan on this before the end of the year. We'll see if that ends up being what happens, but that's my goal. For the letter U, we have our one product that I'm bringing over from last year's project, and that is my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I actually really fell in love with this product um, through that project. So what I did was I scraped it all down to one side. I don't know if you can really see it all that well. I scraped it all along just this side right here for a couple of reasons. First of all, I thought that it might be easier for you guys to see. I don't know if that's actually the case since I don't have one of those cool autofocus cameras that like zooms in on what I put up really close like that. But also it's going to make it easier for me to use because the way that this jar is, is that it's not flat on the inside. It kind of dips in. My fingers are just too big. So by scooching it all to the side like that, it's going to make the product a little bit more accessible for me, at least until I wear that side down as well. But I think that'll take some time. So it is my goal to use this guy up entirely. That's totally, totally possible because when I scraped it all to the side, there's less product in here than I thought there was. So this will probably be, I would say I will probably use this up before the twins are born, which is good. I would like to repurchase it. I have a couple of other things that I want to use before that just because I already have them, but that is going to be a repurchase, I'm sure. So for the letter V, I have another full-size lipstick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. I love this. Absolutely love this. It is this beautiful sort of mauve -y, sort of dusty rose situation. I really, really love this shade a lot. Again, I am not going to use this whole thing up. Like, that would be insane. Just like um, I talked about with the other one, I'd like to get probably a third of the way down and then evaluate from there. But that is my letter V. W is... Bubble Bath! <laughs> This is in the scent White Citrus. This is from Bath & Body Works. I put this in for a couple of different reasons. One, W's are a little bit more difficult, but also I don't do a great job of taking time out for myself. And I thought maybe by including a bubble bath into my project, it would help keep it on the forefront that I need to be doing some of those things. Now, you won't see any progress in this for quite a while. I can't take baths at the moment because of the pregnancy. Um, I know different people say different things about, you know, whether or not you can take a bath while you're pregnant. I err on the side of caution. I tend to take very hot baths and very hot showers, and I just don't want to run the risk that it's going to raise my body temperature to a point where it could be harmful. So I'm just not going to take a bath. I didn't take a bath the whole time I was pregnant with my son, which kind of sounds gross. I do shower, I promise. Um, but then once they're, the twins are born and I'm healed enough, I do want to make it a point of, you know, taking more time for myself. So it is my hope, <laughs> I don't even know if I can call it a goal, um, to use up that bath, uh, bubble bath completely, but we'll see again how the year goes. Another one that's going to be a stretch. Look at this guy. This is my extra large Milani Make It Last setting spray. I know it's a reach. X products are difficult. I didn't want to pull in another lip product. <laughs> so this guy here is the, you've probably seen on other people's, they've got the two ounce version. This is a six ounce version for $5 more. And so I was like, yes. It has one of the best misters on it. I really like this product, but this is a pretty big bottle. This is a whole six ounces, especially since I have another one, or no, not one of these, but another just setting mist. In the project, I would like to be able to use them both up completely, but if I fall short on that, it's not the end of the world. Um, 
at minimum, my first goal on this is to get it halfway, get it down to this black line right here, and then kind of evaluate from there. Again, a broken record here. I don't know what my makeup usage is going to look like in the new or in the new year. Why do I keep saying that? After the twins are born. So I'll probably start with this. Um, because I'm going to continue going to work, obviously, until they're born, and then move over to the, the Olay one, which is kind of more skin care-y. I think that's my plan. All right, and then for the letter Y, I have this from It Cosmetics. This is their Je Ne Sais Quoi. It is in the shade Your Perfect Pink. So this one I am actually going to set the goal to use up entirely. This is basically like a lip balm with a slight flush of color. It reacts to your body chemistry or so it claims. And uh, yeah, I don't even think you're going to be able to see that on my hand at all. So again, it's more like a lip balm than anything else. And lip balms I'm good about using. So this one, I do have the goal of using it up entirely. And then finally, for the letter Z, I do have another lip product. I have far less this time around, guys, I know. <laughs> this is a lip liner from Stila. It is in the shade Zinfandel. Z's are hard. So this guy, I think, will pair nicely, though, with the lipstick that I have in this project. And honestly, even with that more sheer one, I think they'll kind of all play together nicely. It would be great if I could use this guy up entirely. It's basically brand new. So we'll see how that goes. But that is basically my goal. I do intend to update you guys monthly after April. I don't know if that is going to be quite as feasible. So I'm due at the end of April. That is if I go full term, which from everything that I've read and been told about twins, given my age and the fact that this is my second pregnancy, probably not going to go the full 40 weeks. But if I can make it to at least 36, I'm a happy girl. Sorry, I'm so congested. <laughs> so I'm definitely intending to update monthly, but I just don't know what my filming schedule is going to look like soon after they are born. Um, I don't pretend like I am the kind of YouTuber that like Emily Noel is, where she was back up and filming. I mean, I know she had some pre-filmed stuff, but she was back up and filming pretty darn quick. I don't know that I'm going to be that good at life. So <laughs> we'll talk about it more as we get closer to that date. But I'm so excited to be working on all of these products. I really, really have fallen in love with project painting in general. Um, I've gone back and forth about whether or not I'm going to make this rolling. And I think at the moment, I'm going to say that I'm not. I didn't last year. I don't think I'm going to again this year. And that's for a few different reasons. I want to be able to join other projects throughout the year. Uh, I think that's a lot of fun. And I don't want to have too many things going all at the same time, especially given the uncertainty of what the year will bring. So I don't think I'm going to make it rolling. But that could be subject to change later on. And yeah, so again, super long video, very rambly. For that, I apologize. I'm just super chatty, I guess. Anyway, I hope that you are having an amazing day. Welcome to 2020. Thank you for spending some time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.